Okay, let's go here from Retro Review Revolution here to do a quick review. This time we're going to be checking out the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. Okay. <laughs> Has 80 built-in games including Super Street Fighter 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, and Mega Man The Wily Wars. Uh, this, ironically, is the first version of Wily Wars released in North America, other than the uh, Sega Channel one. Uh-oh, at the label, though. <laughs> we'll find out why here in a second. Checking out the back of the box. 40 Sega and Capcom games built in. And there's plenty of them. Get... Take a deep breath. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi, Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, Mega Man Wild Wars, Vector Man 1 and 2, The Ooze, Shackhand, Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, Arrow Flash... Uh, Altered Beast, Bonanza Brothers, Columns, Columns 3, Comic Zone, Crackdown, uh, some other one I can't really tell what it is right now, I think it's Decap Attack, Mean Bean Machine, Echo, Echo 2, Echo Jr., Eswat, Eternal Champions, Fatal Imprint, Flicky, Game Ground, Golden X, 1, 2, and 3, Jewel Master, and Kid Chameleon, plus 40 other crappy games. <laughs> Checking out the handheld itself, it is made in black and blue, it does have stereo speakers, red LED, six button controller, the bottom of it only has a power switch, sides are bare, top has an SD card slot to load your own ROMs, volume control, headphones, and the uh, charging port, I forgot the bottom is actually the headphones, the top is actually a TV out, sounds good so far, but there are issues. <laughs> Let's look into some of these issues. Is there a power button? Screen pops on, takes us to the game selection screen. However, I'm going to move where you can kind of see my hand. I'm not going to switch it off, and it's going to gently nudge it, or barely move it. Oh, wait. It just reset. Let me give it a better look. See if I can show it off in the camera there. You just barely nudge it, and it resets. That is the off position that's on. One more time. So yeah, problems in the quality control department. And now we're stuck in the white screen. There we go. Now this takes you to the menu select screen. The first 40 games are your Genesis games. With the next 40 being the Firecore games, uh, pretty much shoddy basic games, more or less. Finally, you have your SD card where you can get on there and uh, play any of the ROMs. Now, the controls on this thing feel fine. They actually feel pretty good. And the games are all highly playable. However, there's one issue I want to go into. Uh, a great example is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. The audio quality on this thing is horrible. And uh, here's a good example. Let's load up Sonic real quick. Sega. Yeah, that part sounds fine. Yeah, it didn't sound quite right. It's like a high end is gone. The ring sound collecting sounds a little weird too. Yeah, definitely some audio problems. And it's not just this game, it's any game on here, any game you load up on the SD card, all has that weird audio problem going on. Uh, to show that issue again, we'll go with another familiar game, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Audio problems everywhere. 
And uh, unfortunately, it's not just the Sonic games. It's straight up all of them. We'll load up another, uh, <coughs> pardon me, another popular title. Popular title, not uh, those weird crappy ones. Let's check out Mega Man Wily Wars. Which I, it's great to be able to legally play this in the U.S. finally. Unfortunately, the audio problems just really hurt the uh, entire package. <laughs> yeah, even the Capcom intro is completely off. Just sounds off. <laughs> However, everything else is fine. Uh, gameplay is perfect. The controls feel great. The handheld is. <coughs> Pardon me again. The handheld itself is really light. Which is kind of weird. I mean, it feels very cheap, very light. And other than that power problem that I had shown you guys earlier with the power switch. And the audio, it's a uh, not bad piece of system, more or less. <laughs> not bad piece of system. English, here we go. Uh, here's the thing. I wouldn't recommend it for that price. Uh, you find this thing around for like, you know, 20, 25 bucks? Great. But I understood it's uh, on sale right now at uh, most dollar stores for 40 and on Amazon for 50 and 60 and it's just not worth that much. Especially when your cell phone can pull off much better sound. And, you know, you already have it there. And you can emulate these on your phone. So, um, overall, I can't recommend this unless you can find one for, like, maybe $25, $25, $30. Uh, otherwise, I really can't recommend this. So, that's going to be it for the review of the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Handheld Game Player. Which isn't so ultimate, but, um... Not bad for a cheap handheld if you want to take a cheap handheld route, but uh, otherwise I would stick to emulating on your phone. <laughs>